cracking YouTube it's your boy Vic back at you with another one I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and so today we're gonna be getting into a drop skin fade and the clippers I'm mainly gonna be using is the wall senior uh, sterling reflections rather and uh, as you can see I'm just starting my first guideline I want to make it really light I don't want to dig in too hard because then it's gonna prevent me from blending out uh, keep it you know making it really simple to blend out the the guidelines so I'm just kind of feathering it in there and then basically just you know come into a pretty drastic drop uh, down the side and below the occipital area and from there you know I just like I said I want to make sure that I don't dig in too hard because I'm gonna show you in this video how easy uh, you can get a low skin fade done or a drop skin fade, whatever you want to call it either, or it's fine with me. Um, but yeah, so just cleaning up. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. Now we're on to our second phase and uh, I've got a 1 16th clip on there. My clipper is adjusted all the way open and I'm coming up about a half inch to an inch. Um, depending on how long you want to make your blend, that's really up to you. Um, in this case, this looks like I'm doing about a, about a half inch, like I said, to an inch. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that all the way to the, to the back, you know, making sure I stick with that first guideline, the, the way the the way I dip down, I want to make sure it's completely consistent all the way down and around to the other side. Now as you can see I close the clipper. So now we're going to go ahead and just kind of blend that out from the clipper all the way closed, no guard, to the 1 16th open. Now we got it closed and we're just kind of knocking out any little dark area um, that may be left there. You might have to spend a little bit a little bit of time on this part, but it should blend out pretty pretty quickly. I mean, this guy right here's got really thick hair and I'm able to blend it um, uh, pretty easily. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that hard, you know, especially if the person has thinner hair. Obviously, you know, different textures are gonna make a difference, but as you can see, this guy's got some pretty thick hair. And uh, his name is David, by the way. He's been coming to me for a while. And he also cuts hair. So um, hopefully he gets some videos up on YouTube eventually to see what happens. As you can see, it's already blending out pretty nicely, though. I'm also using that corner technique of this part right here. Just because I feel like it's a little bit darker in that area. And I'm just working it. Keep working that magic. Making sure that that blend comes out properly. Now we're slapping on a number two, and I'm gonna be adjusting my clipper all the way open. See, I got that comb in the left hand, just combing down, make sure I knock away any excess hair. And just uh, a lot of barbers will tell you, you know, it's a good idea to keep a comb in one hand, clipper in the other, comb in one hand, scissors in the other. You know, you wanna make sure you're utilizing all your tools uh, properly. And the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because I'm trying to take out a little bit of that bulk and later on you'll see I'll do clipper over comb from the from the two and a half on up but uh, I want to make sure that I keep it dark as well now I'm putting on a number one and a half uh, plastic guard by wall and I've got the clipper all the way open and then I'll be closing it slightly more and more just to make sure that I blend that little dark area out you can call them bars you can call them guidelines you can call them whatever you want, but basically, you know, you use those so that you can see um, exactly where you're at as far as 
you know, I see a lot of barbers uh, do fades without guidelines. And yeah, you're gonna get a clean fade without a guideline, but when it comes to a, a de real detailed fade like this, I would say you, you pretty much have to use guidelines. Otherwise, there's gonna be some inconsistencies within your fade. Now I have a number one plastic guard on there, clipper all the way open, and just lightly blending out that little dark area any areas that I see but you can tell it's already starting to blend real nice and I mean this is in real time guys the, the haircuts not being sped up I told you guys from here on that I was gonna do the full haircuts and um, I pretty much finished this haircut in about 20 minutes and this is a haircut that would take a lot of people probably like damn near an hour to finish so I'm, I'm waiting on somebody to come and challenge your boy cuz I can knock out anything under half an hour, any haircut you throw at me. And I can't I can't say the same for all you, all my fellow barbers out there, but I've been doing this a long time, so this this is light work for your boy. Here I'm just pretty much done with the plan, but I'm just doing some minor cleanup work. I got that 1 16th guard on there, and I'm just continuing to perfect my work like you should be, you know what I mean? Don't just be in a rush to finish, finish off the cut. You want to make sure that you take your time and perfect your, your craft, you know? Learn how to use your clippers instead of using all that paint. You know, that's what makes a real barber. I'm just keeping it, keeping it 100, y'all. I'm not hating on anybody using enhancements, just saying. Don't rely so much on the paint. You know, you gotta, um, you gotta perfect your craft. There's no easy way out. And here goes the Slimline Pros. I'm using those to uh, basically just continue to bald out the very bottom of what I already did previously with my sterling reflection all the way closed and um, pretty much just cleaning it up you want to make sure you don't go up too high then you're gonna end up creating another line and then you got yourself in a whole mess you want to keep your keep your um, keep your guideline low keep it keep it as bald as possible but don't bring it up too high don't go into your fade at all rather and um, from here, you know, obviously I'm gonna take my balders and go overboard like you should, you know, take it to the max. Next, I'm gonna be doing some clipper over comb action. Again, I got my sterling reflections out. And notice I'm using a styling comb. I'm not using a regular flat top comb. And the reason why I've been doing this lately is because um, usually I would be using a flat top comb, but lately I've been liking this because it's much smaller, easier to maneuver around, and I'm pretty skilled with the clipper over comb uh, technique, so, you know, I wouldn't advise like a, a, a brand new barber to do this, but after you're pretty skilled with the regular flat top comb, then you can start using this. And the reason I started using this comb was because I don't remember if it was because my, my comb was broken or if I had misplaced it or for whatever the reason I had picked this comb up and started using it because it, it for whatever reason was all I had at the time and so I had gotten used to it and then by the time I had gone back to the barber supply store to pick up another comb uh, another flat top comb rather and came back and got to work with it I had already gotten used to using the smaller comb and I was like man I think I like using the smaller comb better anyway so I just kept kept rocking with it Now I'm going to be taking my cordless and this T outliners and just doing a natural, real natural arc. Uh, we call it the hooks. I see some of you guys calling them the C cups now. I don't know where the hell that came from, but um, I've never heard it called that in all my years of barbering. That's got to be a new term. Uh, we call them the hooks, the arcs. 
It really doesn't matter to me what you're calling, just make sure you're not pushing it back. Keep it natural as possible. Follow that natural uh, hairline to the best of your ability. That's really all that matters. Then come back with that razor and touch it up. Now I'm doing a little more touch up work. And you know what, real quick, I just want to say thanks to uh, Chris Bazio for giving me a little shout out on his channel by doing that little review on the haircut that I did previously. That was solid, homie. Much love. Still doing cleanup work on this side, making sure that everything's, you know, perfection. Also, guys, you're not going to see me cutting the top with the scissors at all in this, in this haircut. Um, because my buddy in this video is pretty much still growing his hair out. So we're going to be doing something else with it in the future. So for now, we're just basically just doing the skin fade. That's all this video is going to be about, guys. So I'm um, sorry to tell you that, but I'm sure you guys clicked on this to see the fade anyway. So... It is what it is. Now we're gonna, like I said earlier, now we're gonna be finishing up. Um, as if it wasn't bald enough already, we're gonna be coming back with the screen shavers. You know, you can use whatever ones fit you, fit your needs. Uh, these are the, these happen to be the wall five star screen shavers. I see those those new chromed out ones by Babulous, and then they got the gold ones, and then you got your Andis uh, screen shavers. They pretty much all do the same thing. I'd have to say that they're all, you know, pretty, pretty much the same exact thing. So it really doesn't matter as long as you're using them at the bottom of your fades and your tapers, you're going to get some close to that, I hope. Now we're going to get started on the, on the other side, his left side. And uh, I'm pretty much just going to be doing the exact same step, guys. So I'm just going to let the music play, just chill, zone out, watch the video. And I'll pick it back up when I when I use the razor. All right, guys.
gonna be grabbing my straight edge razor by Urban Barber and Company. And I'm gonna be lightly touching up the now called C cups, I guess. We'll call them that for this video. But I like to call them the hooks. Just that temple peak point area. Just lightly stretching that skin, making sure that it's all, you know, tight so that you, can, you don't cut your customer and whatnot. I'm gonna flip my customer around, lock the chair, of course. I know you can't see me doing that, but you wanna make sure that your chair is locked. Anytime you got a razor to anybody's hairline or face, that's just a little added bonus for you guys out there. And uh, yeah, finishing off the haircut with a nice fresh razor. And that's pretty much gonna be a wrap. Now we're gonna give them one last spin so you can see the finished product. And there it is. Thanks for watching the video, guys. It was a pleasure. And as always, make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out.